Good morning, folks. The proton radiation storm is subsiding. We may have minor solar wind amplifications in the coming days due to coronal holes in the edge of yesterday's CME, but we've got new sunspots and three top stories to hit this morning, and we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. If you caught last night's update, the SOHO data suggests a 50-50 chance that yesterday morning's eruption will clip us with a glancing blow. Won't be major. The sun was much more quiet since that event, with flaring dying back down. But we may have activity at the sunspots incoming on the north. These really were not visible yesterday, but they're visible now. The little one is morphing quickly. We'll have eyes on them both today while we're watching the solar wind for those previous events. First up in the science news is a newly discovered exoplanet system. It's a weird one though. A dwarf star with six and possibly seven planets all of them bigger than Earth, but orbiting tightly in a radius smaller than that of Mercury and our Sun. These are harsh worlds, as the young star is highly magnetically active with powerful stellar flares. Currently, not a great place to be if you have biology like ours. Up next, oof. Folks, yet again we are reporting the discovery of a new type of star. Two, actually. Not only is it very cool to have both old smokers and squalling newborns added to the list of known star types, but it reminds us of how they are truly still figuring out space and astronomy, while projecting an absolute knowledge of the cosmos when making their guesses about data. Lastly, folks, one of the best beryllium production articles I've seen. It's one of the atmospheric materials that is best tracking space radiation impact on the atmosphere over time. They showed how the great Charlemagne flare of 774 AD caused a strong spike in production with excess at the polar region due to the proton event that came with it. They also have a great graphic that shows two important things. On top, it shows how solar minimum has a slight deficit at the tropics due to fewer CMEs pushing Van Allen belt electrons downward into the atmosphere. And on the bottom, it shows the Lachamp model, a geomagnetic minimum that we get with excursions, like the one starting again now, with a 250% increase band in the tropics, down to about a 50 or 60% increase in the polar region. Very telling of the space radiation changes to which Earth is subjected during these magnetic pole shifts. We greatly appreciate your support. We're watching the solar wind and those new sunspots. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.